Kev Edwards Tim Rally here. Welcome back to another episode of um, the Dirt Rally Shakedowns. I started this when I first started the channel about six months ago and completely forgot all about it. Um, remembered the other day and was like, oh, well, might as well finish it off before day two comes out. Uh, so we've gone through quite a lot already. We've done the Group B rear wheel drive. We've done um, most of the classes, didn't we? Uh, Group A. Uh, the 70s and 80s as well, I think. I uh, don't think we've done any modern day stuff yet. So, uh, I'm going to crack on with the Group B. Uh, and since Rally Sweden is on as we speak in my peripheral vision, actually, uh, Lafayette has just crashed out, unfortunately, into a snowbank. Uh, and it's a night stage. So, let's do a Sweden night stage to make up for it. Uh, to match up so we're going to be doing Bajork Ligon and um, I think this is a section with Collins crest in uh, so it should be a big jump in the middle of this as well uh, generally about I don't know 230 240 to uh, complete it um, yeah so we'll crack on okay so quite a big selection of cars to get through we've got the MG Metro Adi Quattro Ford RS200 Peugeot 205 16 and the Lantia Delta S4. Now, I'd imagine 205 is going to be the quickest. I think that's the quickest. I think it was far quicker than the other cars in most circumstances, to be honest. And then probably closely followed by the Delta. So it's maybe going to be more between these three. Um, more of a battle for, like, third, I'd say. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see, actually, how, how they do. The Audi's bit bouncy, kind of uh, gets launched off bumps quite easily. Uh, but, yeah, okay. We'll, uh, we'll jump straight in. Okay. The R6, R4. V6 engine, 400 brake horsepower. Absolute beast of a motor. Let's see what I can do. Five, four, three, noise. I just can't beat it. It's been a while since I've driven any of the Group B cars, so probably going to be a little bit sensitive. Also running them in default setups. Such a beast of a car. Okay, so we go flat out a little bit. Unstable on the run up to it, so I have to slow myself down and get myself straight. Oh, a little rock there. Just couldn't carry the slide through the uh, second corner. Careful, oh, watch those banks. Sweden always wanting to just grab you by the grill and spin you around. Yeah, it's not the most stable of cars over the bumps on the default either. Just wanting to rock around on me. That's out for the finish. And what have we got? 228.9. Okay. Let's see if we can beat that. 
Okay, next up, the phenomenal Audi Quattro. Not the latest one, but still an absolute the beast of a motor. Yeah, I say this is a little bit, a little bit bouncy this one. So I'll have to kind of go easy on it. Just let me get me view so I can see everything. Yeah, since I've changed my monitor. Yeah, and we'll change the view. Okay. Let's give the Al Quattro a go. Quattro is definitely one of my favourite rally cars, but I'm not too keen on how it handles on the rally. Just wants to bounce down the stage all the time. Show sure with a bit of tuning. Probably get it handling nicer, but. Not trust it over these bumps. Definitely more planted on the front as well. Not, not quite as tail happy as the metro. Okay, this is going to be interesting. To break. Default gear ratio is a little bit funky as well. Just drops like a bag of shite. <laughs> Sounds fantastic though. Bloody backing us. Ooh, right into the barrier. Okay. So what have we got? 225, actually quicker. Um no doubt I'd imagine each one will get quicker anyway as I start to get used to the stage, but we're well, yeah, surprised at that. I thought it was actually quite slow there, but hey ho, on to the next. Next up for the Escort RS. Another absolute fantastic car. Uh, yeah, love this car as well. This car also sounds amazing. It's Group B. It's all fun. Uh, I'll keep this view as well. Mix it up with the views a little bit. Let's see how it does. Another beast. So cool. 
Here we go, the jump. Pad out. Oh, no. Little tap of the brake for four. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't think flat out in a Group B over that jump is the right thing to do. Spinach. Still got it. Stable and a quarter, oh, he says. No, 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 finish, 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 finish. <laughs> oh, jinxed it. I jinxed it. 230, so slowest so far. Uh, but we did have that little spin, probably cost about five seconds, maybe. So, might have been up there. Not an exact science, as I say. So, yeah, let's crack on with the next one. So, next up, Peugeot 205 T16. Uh, when this come on the scene in 84. Just put Audi and Lancia onto its knees. Um, bit of an overlooked car for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, it's an absolute beast. Probably one of my favourites. Yeah, just had to change the view there, so let's uh, crack on. This is a brilliant car to drive. But you gotta watch the turbo lag, especially when you're going like over here pennies and stuff. Again, the noise. Probably one of the trickiest cars in the rally to drive. But definitely one of the fastest. Just rockets through the gears. No chat on this because it takes every bit of concentration to drive it. Oof. Predictions first, 220. <laughs> Five seconds quicker than the Audi. Absolute beast of a motor. Uh, little soft spot for that car because I won the historic championship in the Crest Auto Sport League last season. Started off the first half of the season in the Lancia Delta, uh, and then it was like uh, everyone swapped cars and moved to the 205. And pff, yeah, done me well, done me really well. 
got me to the end. Um, so, see what the next card is. Next up, Lancia Delta S4, supercharged engine. Uh, the car that Henry Torvenen, um, him and his co-driver, crashed into a tree and sadly passed away. Probably the end of the Group B. In fact, it pretty much was the end of the Group B. Uh, absolute beast of, beast of a car, though. Uh, so fun to drive. Uh, let's swap view. Probably the only car that's going to rival the 205. I've spent a lot more time in this car, I think, than any other of the Group B's. So, it'd be interesting to see if I can beat the 205 time. Again. That noise. Column's crest, oh, a little bit of brave just to balance it. Grip on the front end. There we go, have we done it? Let's see. 224, <laughs> he's done it by a second. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Shame, I um, had to restart my computer. I had a brilliant Monte Carlo livery, the uh, Martini one. I think it was actually the Henry Torvenham one as well. Uh, shame, it's, I'll have to re-download it. Um, yeah, so that's it. So the Lancia Delta S4 rings, reigns king of the Group B. Uh, spot on, really enjoyed that. That was good. That was a nice little workout. Uh, again, thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications and uh, any comments or anything you want us to improve or if you like this view, I'm still, I'm still, I'm not 100% sold on this view, I'm just still trying it out. So let me know if you like the, the view that I've got now or if you prefer just the screen capture view, view. Yeah, because obviously you lose a bit of quality as well, so I'm still... I'm still like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for joining and I'll see you on the next video.